Hi everyone. I would like to introduce today about the covenant in place. You know, a covenant we have to place a covenant and more than in place. Play covenant is very simple. That just mean you insert the object on the library or the outside source or to the your project you use. Click on that block family. You see the on the window. You see the object. Uh, many category. You can choose the object on side. Like, uh, click on the furniture. You can see in the bed or another object you want to insert on that. And we can uh, choose the table. Maybe you can uh, choose the round table and lay it to the. After we insert, you can looking for it on the covenant. Yeah, sometimes you don't know where is it, and they after you insert because of the in up you you choose the depend on carry and carry up the object. They insert uh, that to the carry. Like here, you choose the the table. They insert into the uh, covenant and join that and play on it. And now the second thing I told you about covenant in place. This one uh, help you to build yourself the object and the object you want because this category help you to uh, uh, create the object and apply uh, to your project then this process to do to you name the, the category you uh, you create in in this side you see we have the one two three four five tool and the six six tool is the void like the minus the object the first thing i mentioned about the extrusion tool is the easy uh, tool you uh, click on that and you choose that means you create on the level to create the, the shape of the object and in case you choose the, the square uh, a rectangle and uh, choose the height of the extrusion and after finish this one we uh, we have the object like this one uh, and click on the object you can uh, edit uh, in edit in place and uh, edit in place that means you can edit it uh, click again and edit extrusion then you can change the shape you want Yes, after you put it, you uh, the second thing you uh, use the the plan plan tool to build the object uh, with dif different uh, profile with the different level like this one and uh, observe the, the tool how it works. Okay, the first thing we choose the the base of the object. And this one and the uh, sub you want in case I, uh, I roll the circle for the base and uh, edit top click on edit top you can create uh, another profile and this one is the second uh, that's mean the, the, the high of the top and you can roll the shape you want 
and after finish you can finish it and you the they automatically create the object and you see on the screen this one is the the height of the object uh, from the base to the top okay and you can adjust the number and object can change and even you click on that and you can after after complete you finish and you can go back by click on this one and this place you click the object again and you can edit the top or edit the base okay that means you can change it after you build like this one i change a little bit on the top yeah. and then the update after you change Okay. Uh, to complete uh, the complete thing you finish that and you have to now uh, we have the second tool okay now we continue to move to uh, we move to uh, the third tool that's the re revolve revolve is uh, the strong tool help you to view uh, uh, the object with the profile rotate around the axis uh, after uh, click on this one we see we have we have to view uh, we have to view the the profile and the, the axis that means we have to prepare the working plan and this concept I would introduce to you the working plan here you see this is the tool we have the reference plan in AutoCAD and another software they um, you know uh, we, we know is the working plan in the Revit they, uh, they write a ref reference plan that means they work in like the working plan and the set that means uh, you, you can set up the working plan after you uh, beat your raw the ref reference plan and you can show the working plan you can see and draw on that okay we can um, start you know the how they work Okay, in case uh, if I want to roll um, because now that we're working on the on the level, uh, go back the level, we will roll, we will roll the red plan here. We can roll the red plan. That means the, the unlimited plan. You're working on that by on the top that's been the level one you can draw the line that's mean uh, this is symbol for the the working plan and then you name it okay you remember this one and now the the plan this is the plan because this is the line you can see just the line because we working now we working on the level one that's been on the top the the plan uh, stay um, particularly uh, on the level one that's mean you, you just see the light but name the rep one we just name it and then the next step you can set it and click on set because we need to uh, set uh, that we will working on that and here we have the three options with three options we can choose a set the working plan or the refer uh, reference land uh, plan by name or the pick on plan if you have and the pick a line and use the work plan is worth the get it but we uh, usually the two option the name after you name the uh, reference plan on the plan you have the on object you can see the face you want to draw on that you can pick the plan and this one you can see in this okay and now in case uh, because i choose the name because we have the replan one we just name it and they ask you the 
the view to see uh, particularly uh, on the working plan now we work in north or south side you can choose the south side okay this is the south side okay you can see the south side and if you can see the north side you click the north but now you can see that this this side and make the south side now the the ref the ref line after we show it look like this one okay now uh, you continue the revolt tool they ask you the, the two things the first thing you draw the profile like the boundary line okay boundary line that means you draw the profile of the object and the second you draw the the axis, axis line and then profile line rotate around the axis line now we prepare to uh, draw the profile of the object okay and the tool you see here look like you are like AutoCAD to the AutoCAD you are in the shape you want okay, second step we roll the, the axis line Okay, it just means this is a profile we rotate around the axis like this one. Okay, and you finish. Now you have the the object look like this one up to your view. Okay, you can adjust that by click on and edit in place. Then you can edit revolve. And then you can adjust the battery you want or exit line you want anything. Okay, now I I edit the powdery line. That's mean edit. I'm editing the profile. You can use the that's this tool to cut. That's mean divide the line by click on this one. Okay, it's in this way you easy to. Uh, to run okay but to finish the the object has been updated okay you can hit the option you can change the from the frame to the the set on the hide line you can see easier okay now we move to uh, we will move to the uh, the fourth tool Sweep is the this tool very uh, useful. Uh, uh, we can use them in many um, project. Now after this instruction uh, assignment tree, you have to uh, uh, correct and uh, add more object to complete the model one and model three with the molding and the sum of um. Uh, the wall, some door and window with the molding and that you can use the sweep to do or another object in the component in place you can do okay you we have uh, after click on this one we have the two part you and uh, this the first thing you view the sketch buff that mean you we have we have to build a profile with the both profile and then profile will um, uh, run along the path create the object like this again this is the first thing we draw the sketch sketch path if the if the model we have the line this one you can use the big buff that means you can click directly uh, without the uh, sketching buff that means don't need to draw just to pick directly on this one to create the buff if not you can use this one to draw like uh, by hand the buff okay say this one uh, the same uh, oh, um, the plan you uh, you will draw on that one that means like the prepare the working plan in case we have the plan i want to draw i want to draw the uh, that's plan 
now you can set the plan you want and because we have the, the plan we can work on that you can use the big plan you can set working on that click it because in 3d we need to we have to prepare the plan firstly before you roll now I roll like this one by the big big line okay and then we move to the edit profile that's mean we create a profile uh, for the path then we create the profile of the object then this profile will run along, uh, uh, run along the path way okay see I guess you I can show the working plan you see and now easy you can image how we run that okay symbol uh, I create the symbol profile like this one even in this case you can um, use this tool to complete the model one and model two on the some object you should put to complete that two model so we have to finish again then profile run along the bath you create the object look like this okay this is this so tool you can change the sign you can see um, more effectively okay you want to edit that just a click on the object and click the edit place and then you can edit click it again and you can edit uh, the sweep and sketch map and profile anything you you can you can change and then they will update like this click on the the profile and you can change and the revit very useful because after you view the object you can change it uh, to the the family to edit type and uh, like in this tool you can edit each again and uh, this simple way to uh, click on edit as you see yeah if you, if you finish and go to complete and you should you remember to finish it okay and again i want to go to uh, the sweep plan the same the same uh, sweep tool but uh, we can do have uh, we create we can create the two profile that means the the star and the end profile of the different different side a different side in case when you uh, create the column uh, like the base the bigger on the top uh, column you can use the this tool to be with in case I wrote the the object the the cuff the cuff use the cuff like in case that you error win by this um, on a supply and you see you we they create arm um, the two profile uh, allow you allow you to create the first profile same in this the star you arrow the circle and we create the second profile edit profile and you create another shape uh, like a bigger size and then you see that we have the two different uh, profile and click 
and finish the approach of a yeah. This is a very uh, useful tool you can apply in your project. Okay, now um, the last uh, the last tool we have the avoid form, avoid form. Okay. Um, We talk about the void form. Void form that means the tool and to cut off the your your object. That means the void like the the cutting tool to cut the pro, the pro, uh, the the object. In case you click on that, see the same. We have the same uh, tool, but they. You is to minus to cut off the the object like this one, okay, and like an, another tool. You see, you can click on that and edit and finish. This the void. You see, remember you, they have to you have to build the void form across the object. If not, you cannot create that. Okay, in case I use the I, I use the void form to cut this project. That means after we finish, that this part uh, has been cut off from this object. Okay, you remember that. Okay, that's that means the void form cannot create uh, dependently. They have to. Uh, Across, I have to cut an, uh, the the object. And this, this the the tool the same. You see, is this one? Uh, this tool the same. We use the base and top project. In case I cut, I make the hole through the object. Like this one, I use the this tool. This in the edit tab, you can see that. Okay, through the view. You see, if not cut, uh, not cut the object, you have to add edit it to cut through the object. Then you finish. And now, I have you to make hold the object. Okay, through this uh, void form like this one. This is useful and useful too. Okay, we move another um, the tool, the same. Uh, yeah. The plan to this is the uh, and this, you create the profiles of the void form and access uh, this one okay and if you finish and finish again the void form to to cut the project Okay. Create the create the prof profile from the void form like this one. That means the void form like the cutting tool. You use that to cut the pro uh, object you have. Okay, again. You can uh, edit the void form after you peel or after you after you cut. You can change it. Okay, now the object will be updated after you change it. 
Casey. Okay, we move to uh, uh, another uh, another a void form. After you build uh, revolve, you move to sweep and sweep and the same the mantle. You create the object. Okay, sweep, but I want to cut a little bit on the egg. Uh, this side of the object okay you can choose the, the this type and uh, pick a plan or in this case we can use the big path you can click directly on the on on the side on the egg of the object yeah you can do that okay so I did choose the 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 working plan that's when I click and use the the big line click on that and this case okay after you create the buff you see that we move to we have to finish the pathway then the edit profile uh, appear then you can do that to roll the profile okay. if not uh, finish that the profile cannot appear that means you can use that to roll to create the profile you remember that Okay, now this is the void form. You you you, yeah, you remember this is the void form. That's mean I wrote the inside the object because uh, this is the void form cut the object. Yeah, we have to close. And then you see that we have the, the gap at the red point okay that's mean we need to connect it uh, uh Revit working very strictly that's mean if not correct the warning and you cannot continue the command okay listen this okay that's mean the object Oh, uh, in this case, I had a mistake because uh, I just draw, I just draw the object, not the void form. You see? Okay, this is my mistake. It's not correct. Okay, I need to delete that, and I have to use the void form. Okay, this is the void sweep, not use the sweep, and again I draw the the line, the this uh, the bath and then the f if after finished it, it, we can edit and that's mean we can create the profile you should remember uh, run the inside of the object uh, that's mean the void form have to uh, cut your object If not cut your object, you cannot create the void form. The stream tool is very useful, and uh, you should uh, use that. Okay, this is a rather bigger profile. To cut through the 
object now they create and after finish you can see the void form cut the add of the object see you can use this one to uh, uh, create and uh, the furniture in this this tool you can do that okay um i explain um, a little bit uh, if you have the the roof maybe in the model one and model two you have the the, the molding along uh, run along the the roof you can use that look like um, I try to uh, uh, describe how to do that. Okay, the first thing you go to the component in place, and then that's the process you name it, and you use this use this a swift tool like this one. I do quickly. You can uh, follow on my screen. to choose the the path okay then you see profile uh, on the working plan to show you on and any profile yet after you roll the path you have to finish the path and then they show you the edit profile now you can roll the profile profile in the example you uh, error the the symbol profile and when we click ok and then you see you just create the um, the object run along in the base of the roof see Yeah, after we uh, we build it, you can edit and change and any time. Yeah. Now on the gap, uh, we can draw. Another another uh, object uh, move along the gap on the roof on the roof use the in case I use the extrusion because um, I, uh, I roll the, the object the same slope of the roof in case we use the the extrusion you see the how I roll that. Okay, I'm working on. I want to working on uh, on that face. Let me in case I use the set to set up uh, for working plan. By click on that, click the set and choose the big plan and move the mouse to the dust face and click on that now. They accept me working on this one. That means everything I roll now, they will appear. I will place on the last phase. That means on the the working plan. At least that's then okay. They accept that's like uh, along that phase. See, okay. Yeah, this, you see the everything I roll, they place. This is just one because of two line overlap. That means we need to delete one. Okay, cut because I need to use the trim tool like this. Okay, now I just create uh, just a, a pre, uh, prepare the, the profile for extrusion and, and use the number of four inches and finish. They can they can really exactly uh, look like this one. See, it does mean uh, I just uh, use the two tool, the sweep tool and attrition tool, 
to create the molding of the roof. And the another thing, <clears throat> I just did you to uh, the Dogmer. Dogmer, uh, this is um, a difficult uh, tool to use. You try to uh, uh, follow my instruction, and uh, maybe the the assignment four, you have to uh, use this tool to uh, create the model three uh, with the the Dogmer tool to create the, the model I will show you how to do it example we have the, the roof and then uh, it use the, the grappling uh, because uh, I I, uh, I will roll the extrusion roof that means the roof extrusion we don't use the uh, the roof by the slab or the uh, from the floor plan but we use um, the roof attraction um, by you roll the two line and you the roof attraction and define uh, the land of the roof then the software create automatically the group and you can see the how to roll that Okay, and prepare the roof by efficiency. That means I'm preparing the working plan and draw two line. That means the two the form of the roof with the slab, the roof uh, by the two line like this one on the working plan and and this plan I just draw. Okay, you can see and then how to do that. And on the view. You can set up because I have the name, okay, and another another the working plan and roll on the that side, and at at the label at with the label because I I, I did create the label three, and now uh, on the label three. You can see that on the south side of the tree and just to create on that uh, at the uh, the four feet higher level two and create the line here because the truth attrition require you to roll the form of the, the roof like this one the line okay it's the symbol of the slope left slope of the roof and then I used the mirror arrow on the second, the right slab 
of the roof then with the define I did define the, uh, the roof the create for this one but here I did create uh, the roof with the thickness uh, smaller and then now you see this is just a 5 feet a roof of a good that's a small roof and click this one and the change the update and the, 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 the thinner the roof you see and now you continue to roll it and we just create again the, the roof to the from the working plan to the land of the roof but we don't we don't have the, the longer roof like that and now we can move it now I just introduce you to you the how to join the small roof to the big roof by this tool in the modify and click on this icon and you click on the face the small face the roof and click on the big roof that means they launch the small roof uh, join to the big roof okay now but uh, in this assignment 4 with the model 3 we have the room small room here uh, they limited um, by the the roof and the three wall okay now I, I start to roll the wall at the level 2 okay through mid and mid the, this small roof okay I use the um, uh, the the center wall but I move because of this the thickness of the wall is the inches I move it inside the six inches that mean the wall move a little bit okay inside the roof and the second And the third roof, I need to change this the minus because they need to move the inside the roof. Like this one. Okay, and I you use the trim tool to cut. Okay. Now the the three. Okay, now um, because we need to uh, attach the wall to the small roof on the top. Okay, to hold the, the wall and use the remember that you 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 have to um okay again you can see I try to uh, uh, remind you remember that attack because we to attack this the tree wall with with the top of the small roof okay that means you have the two options in this case the first step to the top when you attack the tree wall attack to small roof okay that i just wrong see sorry again okay to three this one and attack okay i need to mm, and uh, and the the base of the wall we need to the the base of the big roof you can see into the base okay we need to change that click on that then meet on the base and the roof now you see the wall meet the the roof big roof and small roof like this one okay i insert um Now I use the the dormer to cut because we need to the hole the inside to the roof. The first thing I put a place the the small window to the gap of a small roof. You can see the just uh, just uh, you can see the inside after I use the dormer cut the roof the big roof. Okay, how to insert on the last uh, window? You can just insert. And more family and looking for 
look as window and insert your project and place on this one this okay just use this one uh, to uh, look through the wall and set before I use the dumber to cut because the this part okay on the big roof how to cut does this dumber okay then you have to prepare the wall the roof then you use the dumber but in case we have to uh, change to the frame okay the person that cut and see we have the the two light of the small roof now we change the roof because we need to choose the inside the wall and we have to change the frame to click on that then we use the trim cut the shape uh, like this one then we finish now we just uh, cut the this part okay inside of the big roof you see then you can build another wall and create the room in this space this part is um, a little bit difficult when you try to uh, uh, to do the plastic at home and now another a small thing introduced in the wall we have uh, just uh, introduce you we have um, okay we have the the sweep and the review okay the sweep that means um, after you create uh, you learn about common and in place you don't need this one but if you uh, it, it's a simple face you can use the, directly on this tool to apply on your your wall like this one okay this and that and that's your just create but you can use you know the sweep tool on the covenant you can do that easy okay and review make the whole uh with the review line okay and create on that the covenant in page you can do that yeah, not difficult okay and another things on the roof yeah, we can uh, sum uh, the tool like the fascia and uh, the gutter you can place that on the on, on the, the base of the roof but after you we, we learn about content in place you can do yourself you need this one but uh, yeah because this is the default tool in the software you can use that but for me you, you just use the covenant in place you can do yourself okay in independent independent lead yeah and just the symbol tool you can do that and you can change that means the move up move down but change this number the gutter you can place directly and not
the number that you can change move up move down to go to okay thank you